Yeah, let's see. What's to talk about? Um, uh, ah, I got a message. I was thinking about this Cam Newton thing. Quite interesting. Um, I don't know uh, who uh, keeps up, but um, I find it just to be interesting, like every level of, first of all, maybe I should, maybe I should choose to just rant about how the NCAA uh, makes so much money off of these college players who are not allowed to accept any type of payment themselves. And the unfortunate part about it is that uh, some of these young guys, um, you know, will never be able to go to the NFL to make the kind of money uh, that the university makes off of them. And I think that that's something that's really upsetting to me. Uh, but uh, I guess the other argument is that um, the benefit um, of being able to go to college, and I certainly identify with this because I have loans, the benefit of being able to go to college um, and to leave and to graduate from college debt-free um, is certainly a benefit that other people would, um, you know, sacrifice a lot to be able to have. Um, so it's a hard thing, I mean, because it's not really free when you consider um, that, I mean, quite honestly, academically, um, and I don't even know, I don't even know if this is fair to say, um, but it seems like a lot of athletes struggle academically in high school um, and, and definitely even in college because I don't know how you would be able to manage such a high profile sort of image on campus um, and manage your academics and be um, away from uh, the college campus so often. Um, you know, and still manage to be a stellar student is certainly possible. Um, but, you know, I think whenever you hear about um, misconduct um, amongst college athletes, like it really challenges us to reevaluate the process that we have in place. And to me, I think that it definitely. Um, people who come from low economic backgrounds, um, sometimes uh, their, the payoff for being successful in college, um, you know, they want that payoff to come a little earlier than perhaps waiting until they get to the NFL. And to me, that's not unreasonable because um, I guess, I mean, marketing your skill level in college as an athlete and trying to get some money on the side um, is far better, while I know it's not legal, but it's far better than um, dealing drugs or doing something that's, a lot, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's a really difficult argument to make. I think with Cam Newton and all the allegations and um, him having been previously in trouble for stealing the laptop and throwing him out of the window and um, him having some academic issues at Florida. Um, I think that all of those things, um, certainly the things that happen in your past do uh, come back to haunt you, but I would submit that possibly some of these allegations um, really create a platform for him to win the Heisman. I think that, you know, when you're able to overcome, and, I, and maybe the voters will look at it like this, when you're able to overcome um, not just your own demons, but um, the, the challenges that people um, place in your way, um, it's a lot different than somebody else who you know, just plays good football. And I think that um, often is the story of African-American men and that we have um, to overcome uh, 
a lot of obstacles in order for our talent to be highlighted. Um, and I mean, obviously, I want for this young man to be um, successful and for him to, I mean, I don't want him to win the Heisman over my guy at Oregon, honestly. Um, but uh, I do want him to, you know, experience a, experience some success um but i also you know i also want you know i want college athletes you know even though the rules are, are crazy and even though the university makes a x amount of money you know off their talent like i want the college athlete to value um you know the fact that they're going um to college and they're getting um, some great educational experiences for nothing. I mean, for no cost. And uh, as a person who amassed, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars, well, you know, over the span of two degrees, uh, I, you know, if I could do it all over again, I would have tried to play a sport and I would have followed the rules because I know that it's hard, um, you know, to. I don't know. It's hard to pay these loans off. So, anyway, lots of thoughts around, um, you know, just the news and, you know, stuff going on at Auburn and whistleblowers and all this kind of stuff. I will say, though, that I, you know, I think that organizations have to learn to operate above and beyond out you know rumors and allegations and things like that and that's why i do you know applaud auburn for um not you know allowing these allegations to really um play a role in you know the day-to-day -day operations of their you know athletics and their football team um because people are always going to have some type of allegations However, I do feel that if rules have been broken, I feel, I feel that, um, this, this video is about everything I know. I do feel that if rules have been broken, um, you know, it's not fair for Auburn um, to, I don't know, that's a, see, that's a whole different video because I know what would happen is if a rule has been broken, then, of course, Auburn will um, have snatched away from them all the games that they won with the guy. I don't know if that's fair for the whole team, but then again, he is the quarterback. So, I mean, quarterback, you know, is certainly uh, the champion of the game, if you will, or at least the, offensively. I, I mean, I guess you could say the quarterback is the guy. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's like if he is guilty, you know, like you certainly want to – especially in this climate where you have all these um, teams that haven't lost yet, like like the TCUs and the Boise State Universities and all those kind of people. But even, uh, you know, beyond that's a whole different drama because, you know, the TCUs and the Auburn and the Boise State, they have to actually play somebody, you know, in order to, and if they were playing somebody, I guess, that the voters deemed to, and the computers deemed to be valuable, then we wouldn't be having this conversation anyway, which is just, so I'm pretty much rambling now, but, um, yeah, I'm curious to know what other people think. I mean, these are, of course, uh, my opinions, you know, just based on limited knowledge, and I think, um, certainly trying to deliver my opinion, or this information, you know, trying to be unbiased, I guess, a little bit, although, um, I am strongly, um, and without question, um, a duck for life, um, but I'm also a pretty reasonable guy, I think, but I'm curious to know what you think. Yes, I did record this in a hotel room.